In the summer of 1964, Pope Paul VI came to visit Israel. And in this historic first time visit, he came first to Jordan and then he came towards Jerusalem from the east. In fact, interestingly, he came to Mount Zion and in his honor, they paved a special road, a road that three years later would help the Israeli paratroopers retake the western side of Jerusalem. But in those days, Jerusalem was divided into two parts. There was in the east, Jordan, and in the west, Israel. And he stands on Mount Zion where the, you have the Church of the Holy Sepulchre and the Room of the Last Supper that is holy to Christians. And he stands there accompanied by a representative of the Israeli government, a very, very modest man uh, who survived the Holocaust by escaping Poland in 1940. His name was Shmuel Zanvel Kahana. He was the head of Israel's Misrada Datot Ministry of Religion. And the Pope turns to this short, uh, small Jew who has been through so much in his life and uh, really suffered a lot but also built a lot. And he turns to him and he says, Look, the city of Jerusalem is divided in the middle. On the one hand, you have the Jordanian side, Jordanians claiming that the city is theirs. On the other side, you have the western side of Jerusalem where the Jews claim the city is theirs. And he tells him, who is correct? Who is right? Whose city is it? And Mr. Kahana looks at him and says to him the following, you know, this week in synagogue, Jews are going to read a very famous Parsha, Parsha Korach, the story of Korach, the man who defies Moses and claims that Moses is taking all of the leadership roles to himself and that really he should be sharing it with others. And there was a debate. Who's in control? And uh, eventually Moses won and God intervened. And how did God show that the priesthood belongs to Aaron and not to others? Well, it says that they all took their sticks, their staffs, and they put it in the Mishkan, in the sanctuary, and the stick that blossomed was the one that was the one for the Kohanim, and that was the chosen one. And he then looks from Mount Zion and he tells the Pope, look, you have the Israeli side of Jerusalem and it's flourishing and thriving and filled with trees. And now you have on the other side, the eastern side, the Jordanian side. You see how the Jordanians neglected the city, didn't take care of it. There's heaps of trash all over, no trees, no plants, no flowers. And he tells him, the side that has flourished is the side that really cherishes the city. And that's the side that God has chosen for to have this city. And that was, of course, the uh, Jewish people, the state of Israel. And uh, it's a beautiful story regarding this week's Parsha, how the faith of this man who survived the Holocaust really inspired others and how he really pointed out to the Pope that the beauty, the thriving of Jerusalem was actually its source of blessing and belonging to the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom.